Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna give you guys a brief moment of what happened yesterday. So let's get back to the uh, what happened yesterday, and then I'll let you guys come back to uh, today. So yeah, let's catch up with you guys from yesterday. So my dad and the supervisor told me go and uh, put all the um, corner boards onto your truck. There's not that many. More than 200 and something corner boards later. I have to put it on the trailer. This is not gonna be fun at all. Currently, it's 92 degrees, and nobody's in the premises. Everybody is gone. <sighs> I want one of my kids up in the way to confess. Bang, bang, I'm my hand on the trigger. thousand of them later <sighs> all finally done look a lot more on the trailer than it really is because I didn't really organize it sorry dad but uh, anyway one last one the last one now you must be thinking uh, if I get tan I stay tan all year long no I I am normally that white yes I blind the camera I'm that type of white. I turn. Uh, uh, I get this dark during this type of season. I use. I use this type of. <laughs> this type of. Uh, uh, sunscreen. You now owe me money. I will be sending you an invoice later on, Fernando. F future Fernando, please send them an invoice. Okay. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> okay. So. Like I said, I always put this on every day before I go to work. Oh my god. Literally just yesterday, I, I did that clip and then when I got home, my wife asked me, do you even put on your sunscreen? Yeah, I do. And I showed her the video and she was like, oh. I like, I already know you. I already, I already figured you out. I was gonna, uh, they were gonna ask me if I even put it on. It's almost empty. So we need one soon. So if you're looking at this, babe, Go buy me some more. Thank you. Okay, so my truck drivers are on the way. They're literally two minutes, they said, from uh, being here. First, first, that's already done. It's currently been uh, like an hour and a half. And this one's already right uh, we're ever the wedding uh, the fifth but this it's already ready to go to the factory so yeah I'm waiting on them uh, anyway uh, I don't have any trailers so that's why I'm waiting on them so these are the type of uh, bins that you guys could be seen in Walmart Save Mart Riley's and all those type of stores <sighs> and each trailer and each trailer uh, come with thir uh, 30 bins so yeah that's uh, since th these are brand new to the channel I, I'm, I'm giving you guys a little bit of a look of what they uh look like before they uh are uh put away to the to the to the factory and then taken away to the stores so that's what the current look like obviously they, uh, they're a lot more decorated at the store but anyway that's how they look like right now but yeah <laughs> Three semi drivers to be uh, to, to be honest with you guys, and um, 
that's one of the struggles of agriculture that not a lot of people want to take these type of boxes because they they go side to side and even though they have these corner boards it's, it's there's a lot of weight just for these little plastic uh, corner boards so uh, that, that's what uh that's one of the downfalls of being a truck driver for agriculture that you're at risk that this can fall and who's going to be at fault for it you are and who's going to be paying the truck uh who's going to be paying the ticket you are so that's that's one uh, that's one thing to uh, take in kind of uh, consideration if you want to be a truck driver in the uh, in the ag business so yeah anyway i'm gonna get, i'm gonna disconnect this trailer and uh connect that trailer for for the next trailer that's gonna be uh letting go uh the trailer so i'll be I'll be catching up with you guys once that's done. All right, thank you. So, one of the foremans asked me, I came and asked me right now. He was like, so "How are you doing, Fernando?" I'm like, "All right, I'm all right." You haven't ate, huh? No. Here's a burrito. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a, uh, a quick two-minute lunch and get back to work because Chris is literally about to release the trailer and I still need to release the trailer, so I'm gonna scuffed my face down with this burrito right now so yeah you're seeing correctly those look like pumpkins we we started the pumpkin already this week uh supposedly we're gonna be doing pumpkin for to the uh, middle of october so it's gonna be almost the same time uh that the melons are about to wrap up melon usually lasts all the way to november 10th november 15th so uh and and a pumpkin as well. So, a lot of people think just because they can drive in a straight road, they're a great driver, they're an amazing driver, this and that. I'm gonna show you what a good driver is. And it's not to toot my own horn, but it's just to give you guys a perspective. These things weigh up to 35, uh, from 35 to four, uh, 40,000 pounds each. I'm gonna show you how risky this is right now. If I go too much to the left, I'll slide to the left. If I go too much to the right, I go to the right. I have to go straight in the middle. The good thing is that this tractor is a 2019 New Holland T5610, I believe, or something. Yeah, T, uh, TS120, uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what that means, but uh, somewhere around here, I'll show you guys how much horsepower and all that stuff. I'll show you guys. Uh, Fitch Fernando, put that so somewhere right here, so they can see. Anyway, um, yeah. Not a lot of knuckleheads on the road can do this. So Im Im imagine them carrying a fifty-six to forty thousand pound trailer behind them and try to go in a straight parallel line. <sighs> God, I would like to see that show. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, how's how's it how's it going? Uh, today we're getting a, li a little late start because, to be honest with you guys, I I felt exhausted. My body was just like, no, you need to pull over and go to sleep. Mind you, the the drive from my house to right here is like an hour or something minutes. And I just felt so tired. <clears throat> I I know that there's a rest area, um, nearby uh, where I work, so. I just stopped. I I fell asleep. I turned off my phone on everything. And I just knocked out. To be honest with you, I feel so much better because I, if I would have kept on going, I know I would have crashed. I was so ready. 
going on side to side and stuff like that so no 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 i i couldn't i couldn't risk it so i just pulled over fell asleep and i feel so much better now one of the features i like being a tractor driver is that uh i get to ride in the back pretty comfy and especially because of the shade entirely because of the shade i'm tired of the goddamn sun just beaming down on me but anyway uh i my dad just called me and said that today they're gonna do less trailers, so that's that's a huge plus for me. Cause I've been waking up uh, three uh, three thirty in the morning every day. Yesterday I got home like around nine, so it's pretty tiring for me uh, right now because I, I have no sleep. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen those yellow trailer stoppers. Future Fernando, please edit a photo somewhere around here uh, so I can see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys seen that, but this is our trailer stoppers. <laughs> <laughs> that's right there is our trailer stopper <laughs> nature's own uh trailer stopper right there so yeah Okay, so this is gonna be the scene of uh, liquor store stories. This is part two. He said he said that he has another story, so go at a young yammer. Oh, I'm sorry, and sorry about the uh, shout out that I gave you last time. Oh, bro, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just for making me edit more than I had to edit. I know I hate that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> but so, anyways, these guys were outside. It was a Friday. They came into the store. They bought like five 12 packs, two 18 packs, and they were. They were getting hammered right outside the store on the other side of the parking lot. They were drinking, having a good time. I gave them a free bag of ice because they bought so much beer. So I was like, I'm going to give them a free bag of ice. Gave them free bag of ice. They Reasonable. went outside. They were happy, you know. They are drinking. And they were getting drunk and rowdy and loud. So then one of them came back in. And he was, he was pretty hammered, bro. He was like, done. He came in. And he wanted another 12-pack. So, we're like, are you okay? You're not too drunk? He goes, no. I'm all like, okay. I'm like, he looks fine. <laughs> so, he goes and grabs a 12 pack. So, he can't put the beer on the counter. You're going to have to cut so much. <laughs> okay, all right. So, he can't put the beer on the counter. And then I told him twenty one ninety nine, And then he said... That he wanted a bag of ice for free. I said no. He's like, why? I was like, because I would give me one for free. I told him no. And the guy's like, no, you have to give me the beer. I bought so much beer. Look at all the beer I bought. I said, I gave you guys already a bag for free. I'm not going to give you guys a second one for free. He's all like, no, I want a free bag. And I'm going to take it. So then my dad's sitting right next to me right here. My dad gets up, my dad's a mean guy. Like me, I'm kind of nice, you know, I could be nice, but I could be, you know, you see me snap a couple times. You see me snap. He got up and he told me, go over there and sit by the ice cream machine at the, by the door. If he tries to grab the ice, knock him out. I was all like, oh my God. I was truth, I was. But not in English, right? No, not in English, he told me in Arabic. Not in English. And I was juiced because I was like, I was, oh man, I want to knock someone out. <laughs> it's about damn time. I was like, yes. <laughs> you answer. It's been a while. You answer my prayer. <laughs> so I go and I don't stand behind the, by the ice cream. I stand right behind the guy as he's, my dad's telling him, no, give me the money for the beer and get the hell out. So the guy turns around, sees me, he's like, oh, okay. And then he pays. And then he turns around and I open the door. I go like this. I'm like, come on, come on. You know, like a little kid where you got like, you know, help them. Escort them out. Escort them out like a little baby. I escorted him out and he stops by the ice machine and I look at him and he looks at me and like we're standing like almost face to face and he just looks at me and I look at him and then he just goes he just, on about his He thing? just leaves. I was all like, that's right, because you were about to get knocked the hell out. <laughs> Don't steal. Don't take. I gave him one for free. 
What more do you want, bro? Mm, another one for free. <laughs> now how am I gonna pay my bills? <laughs> you, think, you think taxes stop coming? Uncle Sam don't give a damn. I know Uncle Sam does not give a damn. I dropped my phone. Shit. Tell me. So I was editing last night and I just noticed that I didn't uh, do an outro for uh, yesterday's video and two days ago. So yeah, anyway, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you did, please uh, let me know what you guys liked about it so I can keep on doing a little bit more about that. And so yeah, g give me some feedback, please. Uh, that's that's one thing I, I would uh, just ask from you guys is just give me some feedback of what you guys like and don't like. So yeah, anyway, thank you for guys for watching and uh, I hope you guys to, uh, hope to see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Peace. Now a lot of people pay their people to be on their videos. Nah, it's reverse. Hand it over. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>